All right, guys, Garn here today bringing a brand new video again. Today is going to be a double upload day, so if you're interested, there should be another video of me playing Breach Hardpoint where I do go 45 and 0, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Anyways, here of the gameplay. Um, This is not a joke. I actually am using a Silent Weevil. If you didn't know, I used to hang out this guy's live stream called SD Clear, and in his stream, I would use really horrible weapons. Like, for example, the, fir the three worst weapons in the game when it comes down to kill time is the Razorback. When well, no, the ICR is, has the worst. And then Razorback has the second worst. Weevil has the third worst. Now I would basically use those guns with a suppressor to handicap myself. And then when I do good with them, I would go into Twitch chat and meme and be like, oh my God, this weapon's the best in the game. But you know, of course I'm joking. Anyways, uh, today I just felt like fooling around. I think I got this gameplay yesterday. So yesterday I was, felt like fooling around and I just used Silence Weevil. And I don't even have rapid fire or quick draw on it, even though like I really recommend using that on this gun. Um, instead, I have a suppressor, stock, and grip. Now, why do I have stock? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to strafe and win extra gun fights, but I did manage to drop, I believe, eighty something into this game. And then I'm also gonna showing you showing you guys game where I go like one hundred and. I believe it's 112 and 4. Overall, my thoughts on the weapon is that it still sucks. Um, it might be better than the issue from. It might be better than the Razorback, but it's definitely a bottom free SMG. <clears throat> so. You are going to notice I'm using Combat Focus Denier or Combat Focus. Or not common folks, say uh, heat wave. Because the thing is, um, I don't know why, but I just felt like using common focus to get gameplay. Because usually common focus does lead to better gameplays, but if you want to get stats and stuff, then heat wave, purifier are much more consistent. So, yeah, connection interrupted, by the way. Uh,. Anyways. Now what is my problem with hardpoint? Um I believe that the thing about hardpoint is that you need a good amount of teammates going for the objective. So I basically play the slaying row and try to clear out the map for my teammates. The only problem is that my teammates seem to be really bad at the game and they somehow can't grab the hard point by themselves. Even with me slaying the other team. Which is uh really aggravating and speaking of that, that does lead to something that I've been complaining for the past, I believe, two years. Yeah, for the past two years, I've been complaining about this, how they have somewhat of a matchmaking system. It's kind of like the opposite of AW. Like, in AW, and I guess World War II as well, they had this skill-based matchmaking where if you were a good player, they would match you against people with good stats. In this game, however, if you were a good player, they match you with people who suck. Like, they, like they'll... No, that's how I said against the first time, but with the second time. That's because the first time, you know, AW and World War II, you would be playing against people on the other team with good stats or decent stats. But in this game, you'd be playing with people on your team with horrible stats. It's meaning that they suck dick. And uh, people on your team, on, I guess they're average, all right? your average pub player you know which is really unfortunate as yeah that is gonna be my first step to gameplay i don't even know how i didn't hear that guy i believe i watched a kill came and he didn't have awareness so i was confused i actually hate when that happens because i'm pretty sure i had a hater up and then they just used the counter uav that is really annoying So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, the perks, of course, other than, I already told you, the weevil attachment is suppressor, stock grip, uh, the, the perks is gonna be just ghost, fast, why I use ghost in respawn, but not SMD is a simple explanation, actually. The reason why I use ghost is because it's not that I expect 
the other team to get UAV on me, I expect them to get UAV on my teammates, you know? They can easily just get a shit ton of kills on my teammates and get UAV, no problemo. Especially since in respawn you get extra points for playing the objective, so... It's not that hard, honestly. <clears throat> Next, um, is a question actually. I'm not sure if I actually want to use another ship in hardpoint. I think maybe it's a better off job to just, I mean, it's a better idea to use Wraith instead, because for some reason, uh, I believe the Mother ship is just straying me away from the objective and making me lose, but... Or maybe it's just a map depending thing, because in my previous Breach Hardpoint video, where I did use the Mother ship, it wasn't really working out, but I don't know. I guess it works out in fringe, maybe it just depends on the map. I'll have to search that up later, or study, whatever. Oh, so now I'm just going to talk about my honest review about World War II. Um, I'm just going to say that I don't like the game, uh, skill-based matchmaking. Oh, my gosh, news. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> Skip forward. All right, here. It's all right here, but... Anyways, uh, World War II, I'm not a fan of the game because it has skill-based matchmaking, of course. Um, everybody I'm up against is using the bar. Um, uh, kill time is too fast, flinch is a bitch, gun balancing is bad. I mean, they literally fucked us because, like, they said in the beta, okay, I'm just gonna, like, this is what I learned from someone's video, uh, aka OMG Birdman, um, I might link his channel in the description, but like, shouts to that guy, um, really funny person, really smart person as well. I respect him a lot. And my next stuff, yep, right there. Anyways, so he's actually said something in one of his videos to actually make me realize the truth. He actually discovered something about the video. I mean, I, he actually discovered something and put it into his video. That we didn't know about. And basically, what he said was... During the World War II beta, Sledgehammer didn't have our money yet. So they listened to all of our... I guess you could say... Suggestions. Helpful advice. And... What we tell them to do to improve the game, alright? So they listened to us, they, you know, they made Dom turn from 50 points to 100. They made TDM have 75 kills to win to 100. And by the way, I'm blind right here. Didn't see the guy, but it was. Overall, they listened to what feedback we gave to them. And then their money. And they said, you know what? Fuck you guys. We're going to fuck you in the ass right here. And we're going to. We're, we're going to take back all of the changes we gave. You know, Dom's going to go back to 50 points. Fucking TDM's going back to 75 kills to win. Overall, they just took the intel we gave to them and shat it on the ground. Because they just stopped caring, you know? They got our money. They got everything. And now that they did get our money, they don't care about us anymore. They just stuck. They just flipped us off with their fucking middle finger. They said, screw you guys. So, in all honesty, what I'm thinking is that they actually just made the game bad on purpose in that case. Once we even think about it like that. Oh yeah, you guys... I don't know, one of you guys mentioned how, like, I never snipe. You're about to see some, uh, pro sniping skills right here. Watch this, boys. Yeah, um, we are, we're not going to talk about that, ever. Oh, wow, okay, there's still a good amount of gameplay left. I thought I was nearing the end of the gameplay, but... Anyways, I'm not really going to talk for the next gameplay I'll to show, I'm about to show you guys. As I really don't know what else to say about 
here as well, I mean, other than the fact that, I guess, actually, you know what, I gotta get something on my chest, actually. This is directed to all of the idiots. Alright, to all of the people I play this game. I know, I know I'm gonna trigger a lot of people by saying this, but I'll actually just stop caring. You know, I, I tried to be nice, and I tried to adjust the problems, but now I'm just gonna be blunt and tell them the truth. Alright, to all of those guys there, those, all of those casual ass players that have like 0 point fucking 87 KDs and shit and like think they can talk to me about anything in this game. I just want to say fuck you, alright, because I'm actually done. I'm done with your shit. Alright, you guys try, I try, I try to state my opinion and then you guys say some dumb ass shit. That is completely off topic and doesn't even make sense. And I try to tell you that you're wrong. I try to tell you that what you say isn't even an opinion. It's just a wrong statement. And then you just come up with a bunch of bullshit, okay? I do not want to hear that from you, okay? That shit. You really think you can talk to someone like me who has played the game for many years. I have high stats and everything. I have accomplished number one on a leaderboard with no deaths. I have gotten number one on the leaderboard multiple times as well. Most out of anybody in BO3 history actually I've done so many things and you think you can just like state out the stupid ass opinion and think it's better than mine all right I just have to get that off my chest all right I know that triggered a lot of people but in the end it's really been bothering me how such dumbasses can even talk or say that shit you know I'm not even going to call any names, but if you do do this again to me, I will throw my fucking hands at you. All right? Bet on that. Uh, here comes the sec second gameplay. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now. Hope you guys enjoy. It's Guardian signing out. Peace.